Hi, Diddle. Hi, Diddle. Outside this morning with the Littles. It's the Littles. Both need nail trims. Guys, ready to go in and get a tree treat? Come on. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good girls. Administer some treats for me. Okay. Having a little quiet time outside and brought the little doggies out. Gonna come over here and poke around. Yeah, these are ready to go. Gonna poke around. See what's going on in here. Hi, guys. Aw, these are doing so good. I'm glad I actually left them for an extra week just to mature a little more before we um, move them out. And y'all, I am not a green thumb just to make that uh, very clear. I am not a green thumb. I usually kill everything, but I learned several years ago that you have to um, show love. You have to give them the right environment. Um, sometimes, you know, we, a lot of us think about plants, we buy them, we take them home and we're like, oh, water, water, water. No, it's not that. Or, or light, light, light. Not that either. It's a combination of things. It's the right soil, the right environment. And you have to think of the soil as the foundation. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about foundations. What is your, what's your foundation made of? What are you sitting on? What do you bet on? What do you know about yourself? The better question is, what do you not know about yourself? Just been contemplating life and love and all those things. I've been privy lately to a lot of ugliness, a lot of ugly things. Um, not not me personally. I've just seen it unfold for other people, and I just want to remind you: don't let someone pull you out of your peaceful place into their war. When someone's at war with themselves constantly, they're going to be at war with most everyone around and you just we have to get to a place where we trust ourselves enough to say that hey even if I put my truth out there and this person doesn't accept it or respond to it or whatever that's okay that's okay it's it's not for them to to decide if, if that gets to be your truth or not or if you get to continue to do things the way you do that that's up to you but from all the stuff I've seen uh, all the nastiness and things like that I've also seen um, just a a huge amount of growth in so many people um, a lot of people are hurting but at the same time they're learning and they're growing And that's all we can really ask for. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but there's all these sirens in the background. And it's funny. It's, I've, I guess, I used to, well, I don't even need to tell my life story. But anyway, I can hear that and it doesn't bother me anymore. Um, you know, years ago, that sound would take me straight to nerves and to the window if it was close by or, or whatever. And um, it doesn't bother me anymore. So again, don't let someone that's at war, constantly at war, whether it be with themselves or someone else. And trust me, when people are at war with other people, they are at war with themselves. Because when you're not at war with yourself, you choose to walk away from, from any kind of um, taunts or those kinds of things. Um, yeah, it's one thing to defend yourself, but when you're back and forth, back and forth, got to find that peace got to get to that peaceful place don't let the opinion of others affect you yes it can hurt and and yes yeah, unfortunate and sad but other people's opinions are not what get us further in life 
They're just opinions. I appreciate the few people. I, I haven't gone anywhere and announced that I have a big channel. Um, I did share it on my Facebook for the few friends I have that like to follow these kinds of things. But um, my goals are to make this a, a pretty cool channel, cool place to come hang out. Um, but I'm just, I haven't wanted to blast off anything at this point. I like where I am. I like what I'm doing. Um, I only put out or, or I'd say do a video when I feel led. I don't feel like I have to push something out or, you know, start some kind of big live or uh, a big long video about a, a true crime incident or you know, or just any life happen. There are several things I'm interested in talking about here. And, you know, it's not, it's not exclusive. I want it to be inclusive of many things. I want this to be a safe place for people to come and talk. Truly a place where people that have different opinions can be respectful and, um, you know, not let this take them to a dirty, dark place. If you want, I'll just say it like this. Once somebody starts with all the language or just a degrading of someone or just a downright smear campaign, and especially just the foul, foul language, I immediately check out. Even if I'm still there in body, I check out in my mind. I just, it takes me to a different place and I, I don't let that penetrate anymore. I love hearing these little birds out here. I heard an owl um, really early in the morning. I'm going to say 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I just woke up for some reason. Maybe it was the owl. I don't know. But I heard this owl. And I, I didn't come outside. I wanted to. But I was afraid the sliding glass door in the back may make it, you know, swoop off or whatever. It was so close. Um, and we used to have, I think we used to have an owl that lived in the backyard until all the houses were built behind us and the trees were put here because he would swoop through the yard occasionally. And I think he, I think that owl lived here. So anyway, um, this was probably a different one. The call was different, but I just felt so led to just, just lay there in silence and listen as long as he talked. That was the most satisfying thing that has happened to me this week. Well, other than my son getting a car yesterday. I wish you guys could have seen his face. He has saved his money and just worked so hard. And I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. And we'll have more talks about him one day. Um, I have three children. <laughs> I didn't intend on putting that in here. I don't know why I just said that. I guess I didn't want to exclude the other two. <laughs> but I'll talk more, you know, about me later on. But I just wanted to hop on and say, don't let people pull you. Don't do it. That's number one, it's not friendship. And number two, it's certainly not love. You don't browbeat someone when you're loving them. Toxic love is not love, people. It's not love. So, my advice is do what you want to do. Be careful what you say as far as um, YouTube goes. Go where you feel most comfortable. Take in all the facts. But don't let anyone tell you what you can or can't do. No one gets to make those decisions for you, except for you. All right, guys, I'm sending out so much peace and love. Let's see if I can flip this. No, I don't think I can flip this. Oh, well, no worries. I'm going to flip around and show my face, but I can't. So I'm, I'm doing just a video. If I could figure out how to do that, I would. <laughs> I'm going to have to edit some of this craziness out. Lord help. Anywho, guys. Have a great day. Sending out peace and love and just so many good things. I hope that everyone enjoys the rest of their day. Just 
sorry about giving you whiplash. Namaste, friends.